If there's an organization that has anything to do with the Holocaust, I address the organizations, I give money, and I insist that my children go. the people that speak about it and we're not there. They have to take the best from books, from studying, from movies, from theater. But when you were there at a young age, then it stays with you. When I see what I went through and hundreds of thousands of others that are not here to tell you, so I speak for them. I have that right. I have that obligation to speak for them because we're a dying breed and too many people are telling you there was no Holocaust. Never can anyone describe the scene if you hear it a thousand times. The chances are you are not capable of believing it. What kinds of nightmares do you have? Very fast. Can't even talk about. It's something that is there. You are in Auschwitz every day. I'm going to tell you something that I don't think I ever said. As terrible as it sounds, I don't think I could live without the nightmares. It gives me the very ultra realistic difference between life and death. It shows me what life is now particularly as a Jew, and, and that I didn't give it up, what I am. I wouldn't want to be anything else. I would have to go through, God forbid, the same thing. I would go through the same thing as a Jew.